photon is the only energy to maintain all kinds of life on Earth. Albert Einstein said, everything in life is vibration. All kinds of life on Earth are direct or indirect photon eaters. Plants can use water, inorganic salts and carbon dioxide to growth up because they are all direct photon eaters. The vast majority of the energy potentially available for use on Earth arrives in the form of visible light from the sun. Plants have evolved to do an efficient job of capturing some of that photons and storing it as potential energy in organic molecules. Bacteria or archaea that live in hostile environments, such as deep sea vents in dark regions of the oceans are the primary producers in such ecosystems. Iron oxidizing bacteria derive their energy needs by oxidizing iron 2 to iron 3 in the deep rock they obtain their hydrogen from the thermal and radioactive breakdown of water. Inorganic molecules, hydrogen gas, iron, manganese, hydrogen sulfide or methane act as a source of energy, rather than sunlight. The yielding electrons from the low ionization energy elements are captured by high electronegativity elements and at the same time, photon energy is released from the captured electrons. After fluorine, oxygen is the next highest in electronegativity at 3.44, and this has enormous consequences in practice. Since oxygen is the most abundant element on the Earth, its high chemical activity makes it a part of most common substances. Its electronegativity leads to the polar nature of the water molecule and contributes to the remarkable properties of water. Photon energy stored in organic molecules must be transferred to ATP by a substrate level or oxidative phosphorylation, then can be used by life. Adenosine triphosphate is the photon energy currency of life and it provides that energy for most biological processes by being converted to adenosine diphosphate. The course of photon study has brought two physical revolutions, the theory of relativity and quantum mechanics. The historical most famous scientific equation, Einstein's mass-energy relation, E equal mc2, has been derived from the theory of relativity. It reveals the matter and photon is inseparable. Matter can be transformed to photon. Photon can also be changed to matter. This equation unifies everything into photon, simple but beautiful, contains so many surprising contents. Since 100 years, people always discovered new mysteries of the universe from this equation and even today, there are still many elements of it, which we do not understand. Contact field optical microscope will be helpful to further reveal the mystery of this equation. How does everything form? Why is the evolution a direction to complex? Since everything has the ability of self-organization, where is the source of structural information and motivation? What is the final link to combine the whole world? To answer these questions, it has always been related to the photon that unifies all things together and to the greatest passion to chase the magical photon footprint. Contact field optical microscope is the thinking sparks of this passionate pursuit. In 1676, Dutch Leeuwenhoek created the first optical microscope, and finally made people realize that the mysteries of matter, energy and life are found as microscopic manner. The aim to develop contact field optical microscope is to study the relationship between microscopic photon energy and material functional structure. According to the third law of thermodynamics, temperature is impossible to achieve absolute zero. Therefore, everything radiates photon energy continuously. The structured materials, such as living cells, semiconductors and organic macromolecules, radiate coded photon energy flow when they perform the functions. Coded photon energy flow is the driving force of life is the dynamic appearance of the material internal organized structure. The development of a microscopic method to detect the microscopic photon energy flow is useful to understand the functional structure of material in life. The high energy photons produced by Big Bang were converted into mass, yielding proton, neutron and electron, providing a huge hydrogen energy source for the stellar burning and for the evolution of the universe. Matter is solidified energy, is solidified photon.
We are all from the photons. Contact field optical microscopy can provide a micro-research tool to study the material evolution dynamic procedure driven by photon energy, how from simple to complex. The snowflake diversity is due to the microscopic photon energy variation of atmosphere. The morphological variety of snowflake is much more alarming than we can imagine. There are no two same pattern snowflakes in the world. Snowflake patterns strongly depend upon the environment temperature. Snowflake diversity is due to the subtle changes of the photon energy in atmosphere microenvironment. Snowflakes are exquisite footsteps of magic photons in cold winter. It is almost as in the magic. C60 can be formed very quickly only by heating graphite. This is too simple. But that is the fact. A large number of synthetic C60 are produced. In Milky Way's huge gas clouds, the concentration of long carbon chain molecules is very high, and the old paradigm that pure carbon in the natural world can only exist as diamond and graphite was overturned. The diversity of carbon allotrope is due to the microscopic variation of photon energy. By photon energy fluctuations, thousands of different structures of inorganic and organic molecules are created. How amazed the photon is! During the period of time, when I worked at the laboratory of Professor Sidney W. Fox, the impact he gave to me is lifetime memorable and benefit. This is not only because of his wisdom and modest, open-minded of sages Demianor, and also because of his youthful forever to pursue the truth with great passion. His study about thermal protein and self-organization of amino acid driven by photon energy that show immense magical phenomena opened up my mind. Sidney Fox's proteinoid microspheres are formed by heating dry mixtures of amino acids to moderate temperatures, then cooling the mixture. The microspheres show many of the characteristics of living cells. Networked, the spherical aggregates of protocells and extra protocellular thermal protein matrix are equal aggregate, but equal free protocells. For aminofera, a size similar to the beach sand, the body's diameter less than 1 mm. In cold water, the holes in the shell of foraminifera are less and smaller than that in warm water. It is more obvious especially in glacial period. According to this feature, foraminifera can also be used as an ancient ocean climate organism indicator at ice age and glaciers late by scientists. The diversity of foraminifera is similar to the diversity of snowflakes. From the same waters, the daily microenvironment photon energy minor changes result in very rapidly increase of new species, two new species per day. Biodiversity of tropical rainforest stems from the higher ambient temperature than that in boreal. Photon is the source of biological complexity. The photon energy change results in the gender diversity of oviparous reptiles. The gender of crocodiles. Turtles and majority of oviparous reptiles depend upon the nest's incubator temperature. Global warming may result in to produce only male lizards. Whether is this also the reason for the dinosaur extinction? Well groups appear in large numbers in the Antarctic waters, because the Antarctic krill provided a wealth of food for the whales groups. The dramatic fluctuations of the photon energy in the water of the interchange of cold water currents around Antarctica with the Pacific, Atlantic and Indian Ocean's warm ocean currents, especially suitable for the reproduction and growth of single-cell diatoms and other phytoplankton to provide rich food for Antarctic krill. Antarctic krill on Earth overall is the heaviest total body weight animal species, about 500 million tons. Photon energy fluctuations in the water create the world's largest library of protein. Einstein said, everything is determined, the beginning as well as the end, by forces over which we have no control. It is determined for the insects as well as the star, human beings, vegetables, or cosmic dust. We all dance to a mysterious tune intoned in the distance by an invisible piper. Max Planck and Albert Einstein Two scientific giants who were chasing the miraculous footstep of photon. It was observed that this picture assembled two-thirds of the world's wisdom. They were all the scientific giants to pursue the photon secrets. Magic photon. If you capture the photon, 
you will occupy the commanding heights of the high tech and seize the future trend. Thank you. These video clips are from mainstream physics videos. And this theory does not change the physics that is explained so well in these videos. In quantum atom theory, only the interpretation changes, with the mathematics of quantum mechanics representing the physics of time as a geometrical process of energy exchange, with classical physics representing processes over a period of time, as in Newton's differential equations. In this theory, electromagnetism is not just holding everything together, it is forming a continuum of continuous energy exchange or continuous creation. Each photon oscillation or vibration only occurs once, forming the movement of positive and negative charge with the continuous flow of electromagnetic fields in three-dimensional space. We see this universal process as light, feel it as heat, hear it as sound, and measure it as a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The future is unfolding with each new photon-electron coupling or dipole moment relative to our actions. In such a theory, the wave-particle duality of light and matter in the form of electrons is forming a blank canvas that we can interact with, forming the possible into the actual. At the most fundamental level, this is a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The reason why there is something rather than nothing is that a process of spherical symmetry forming and breaking will naturally form entropy or disorganization with a built-in potential for ever greater symmetry formation. This is because in such a process the future is not based totally on uncertainty. It is based on broken symmetry relative to the structure of the atoms. When the spherical symmetry is broken it has the potential to form the most beautiful of geometrical shapes with the Fibonacci spiral being visible almost everywhere in nature. It is because these spirals are formed out of broken symmetry that they are never perfect. There is an incredible diversity of objects that have formed the Fibonacci spiral and the only thing they have in common is that their spirals were all formed over a period of time relative to the atoms of the periodic table. This is logical in this theory because the future is continuously unfolding with an exchange of photon energy relative to the atoms of the periodic table. The uncertainty of everyday life is formed at the smallest scale of this process by light interacting with the electron probability cloud that surrounds each atom. This process is relative to the different structures that the atoms form, with different phase changes in matter, changing how the process unfolds at different temperatures. At high temperature we have a phase change in matter, and the same process unfolds at a much larger scale in the form of plasma. If we look up at the heavens we see this process unfolding, in its most simple form, with spherical stars and spiral galaxies. At such high temperatures, in the form of plasma, charge can cover a whole star or even a large area of interstellar space. This can be seen during a solar eclipse, when magnetic field lines can be seen in the Sun's outer corona. This forms one of the most prominent parts of this process with photon energy cascading down from the sun, forming greater degrees of freedom for entropy or disorganization, and also greater degrees of freedom for the complexity and diversity of cell life.
This can be seen with the build-up and organization of positive and negative charge being relative to the membrane of each living cell. This spherical geometry can even be seen in these images from the International Space Station with a candle flame in zero gravity naturally forming a sphere that is interacting with the environment on the two-dimensional surface of the sphere. In our everyday life, fire would take on the same spherical symmetry if the symmetry was not broken by this universal process of energy exchange that forms the potential for the ever-changing world of our everyday life, forming what we see and feel as the passage or continuum of time. Spherical geometry will naturally form three-dimensional space and we have an infinite number of line symmetries within a sphere. In this theory, these line symmetries represent an infinite number of potential timelines for future possibilities and opportunities. Intelligent life will form its own evolutionary path out of these potential line symmetries and because this is a geometrical process with life an integral part of the process this line symmetry will be visible in the physical shape of intelligent life in the form of left and right handedness this process forms a potential infinity of possibilities with creation in the hand and eye of the beholder within such a process the greatest probability is that greater beauty and symmetry will arise. Below I have placed a link to a video that explains the mathematics that represents this geometrical process. Thanks for watching. Please share and subscribe. It will help the promotion of this theory.